So my name is Bodhi Hanna and that I came to Zen Archery was a kind of an accident. I went and uh, met Asanga, the master who was teaching and uh, met him and he was very beautiful. I never saw Zen Archery before and when I met him I didn't see but he was so beautiful that I decided what he is doing, I follow him. So this was my first step into Zen Archery and I was a very bad student. So I didn't get uh, what this was about and, and um, my first arrow was missing the target and um, my awareness in this thing was uh, not very big, it was very low. So I was born in 1928, so the end of the 20s. I was five years old when Hitler came. And my family, my grand grandfather was one of the richest Jewish um, banker in Germany, Mr. Oppenheim. And uh, my grandfather was half Jewish. And one poet told before Hitler came in Germany, be careful when this man is running Germany. My family was very much high educated and many artists and many philosophers were in the family, but you couldn't say anything. When one parents said one word only and then the kids were telling this, then immediately they could go in later on in the concentration camp. And in the beginning it was a new start and people loved Hitler because he brought work to the people. They built this uh, big streets from the north to the south and west to the east. And the idea behind from Hitler was already that he wanted to make war. People were happy, the normal people were happy because um, they had something to eat and make their life before Germany was really poor, 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 poor. And I remember we had to come, it was in January, and we had to come in the courtyard of a school and had to learn this Heil Hitler because we had to greet everybody you meet with this, with this greeting. This is a special glove for advanced archers and sometimes in Japan archers give this glove to their kids and to their grandchildren. But my glove looks a little bit very much used. And it has to protect your wrist with this band. And um, it helps that you can open much more, much better the bow. For a beginner, it is common practice to have the straw target, or makiwara, about seven feet away, so that the student can concentrate on refining his technique. More advanced practitioners shoot from a distance of 28 meters in most dojos. However, the main purpose of Zen archery is not so much to develop technical skill but more to attain that state where the body and mind become one. 
the archer, arrow and target are all part of one reality. In the war, end of the war, they came to us, and this was a funny story. They asked, the Hitler wanted to raise the, the Aryan race, and they asked uh, girls, uh, you want to have uh, sex with a, a soldier or an officer, and uh, that you get pregnant, and that uh, the soldiers were uh, Aryan race looking and the girls too. And I remember I was 14 years old and I started laughing, laughing about the story because I never had, uh, had sex and um, I was a real child in this time. And I started laughing and I never did it but the, there were girls, there were so many people were so fascinated from Hitler and from this whole idea that they followed him. My father was a doctor and he went before to, to the army because he didn't like Hitler and when you were in the military, the, you couldn't be in the Nazi party. End of the war, I was in northern Germany and three years bombs every night. The Americans came and, and this time I learned how it is to die one, from one moment to the other. Because we were not far away from Hamburg and all the bombs on German towns we got via Hamburg. And sometimes there were too many bombs and then they were thrown on my town. So it was was really hard time. And at the end they came uh, in daytime, the English came with their, with their aeroplanes and came down and had machine guns and were shooting in in women and kids. So, uh, but we were so used for this idea we can die every moment. We went in the a, in a floor of a house and then we came out when they left. So it, it's, we learned to, to live with the bomb.
teacher was so graceful when he did it. I, I got really goosebumps because it was so, so graceful, so elegant. He learned it for five years in Japan. He came back and started teaching here. And I was very much impressed, but I had a strong um, thing with him. I was, um, not because my father was so beautiful, I had a strong father trip with him, and he had a strong mother trip with me. And uh, he was very beautiful, and all the women loved him, but he didn't like women, because he hated his mother. He didn't like Germans, he didn't like older women. For all of this, he, I was his heart. This was very hard and the others were mostly men. And then he invited the special people he invited to come to Japan in the low season and to continue Zen archery in Japan. And I thought, this is a nice idea. And I asked him, he didn't know that Japanese can't say no. I asked him, can I and I joined the group. And he said, okay, you can join and come. And I did it. But I was such a bloody beginner, I can say. And um, he was disappointed about me and how I was doing the archery. One day he kicked me out. He said, and I was beginning of 60. This time, it's 25 years ago, he kicked me out and said, you are too old to learn it and forget it. So, I went back to Pune and I thought, okay, the master said, it's uh, enough is enough. He never learned it. One guy came and said, Bodihana, we want you back to the archery. And I said, I can't come. It's uh, so, so, so this is the reason I can't come back. And this guy said, he can kick you out in Japan, but not in Osho's place. Please come. So I came. I started again. And I was more, felt much more free. I felt much more relaxed. And then this master came back and he was running a group and I was part of the group. And then he did something what is very rare for Japanese. In front of many, many people that were joining this group, he said about me, he said, I never saw Bodhihana really. I saw only this, my hate with my mother and Germans and, 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 and uh, she has a father complex. So both of us, we couldn't see it, meet, meet each, other, each other. And uh, then he started and I said, thank you that you came back. So uh, I learned from him a lot about the spirit of Japan and the spirit of really Zen archery and I got more and more this why Osho wanted this in his ashram. Then and then to go down and then the left foot is opening, the right foot is coming to the left and to open to the right side too. And you stay, open your feet more and your toes going outward. Yes. Okay, and then we take the, the rubber with the right hand, but it uh, doesn't matter, I do it with the thumb as a preparation for the right hand and the bow. And totally in your middle line, go from here. So this is very important 
that you bring now your energy from the earth to the sky. And both elbows are equal. When you lift up, lift up, come up, come higher, here, here, here. Okay. And then you, you lift, you move to the left side, your right arm is slow. The right hand is coming here. And you look to the target here. And then you open. Right elbow, open, and the left hand is coming. Simultaneous down, 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 open, and when the upper spring water is down, is on the mouth level, go down with your out breath and release. And the, all the time, this is very important when you release that both arms you open from your heart and both arms going totally parallel. It's like a cross. Vertical line and horizontal line are crossed. And when your right hand arm is hanging, you, you don't lose your whole power. And then you go releasing, ha! Then, then you have to hold But the power from here, never mind power. No mind power. When you are able to all the movements you need and you face the target and you open and you release the arrow, the arrow is flying by itself. So its preparation is the most important thing and uh, this is one thing what I really like and what's a great feeling when you open so much that the arrow can hit the target and it's doing and not doing and this to learn is a very beautiful thing and what I teach is mainly everything you can use for for normal life and uh, this is uh, for me a great benefit and I'm kind of old from age but uh, because I'm no more in my mind you come so much in your normal mind that uh, age is the number.